What is the origin of life? How did we come to be here? Public schools teach that the answer is evolution. But evolution is not a fact. It's only a theory and a weak one at that. Given its gaps and inconsistencies, many scientists have concluded that Darwin's theory is no longer valid and have begun searching for better explanations. Now, one of the most compelling alternatives to this is what's known as idiot design or unintelligent design. This theory postulates that humans are are so screwed up they couldn't possibly have evolved naturally and therefore uh, were designed by some lunkhead. <laughs> I mean when you see a Pontiac Aztec or a Dodge Durango or <laughs> indeed any SUV you realize these didn't come about naturally they were designed by some bird brains in Detroit. Similarly when you notice Glenn Beck the Kardashians, the cast of Jersey Shore, you realize they did not come about naturally. They were designed by somebody with the IQ of a cauliflower. Wow! We have to ask ourselves which is more credible? That once upon a time a lot of nothing exploded into everything, a bunch of non-living chemicals organized themselves into the first living thing, or rather, that it was all designed by an entity whose elevator didn't quite go to the top. We should teach both sides of the issue. Students would benefit from a healthy and vigorous debate about alternatives to Darwin's theory. Get the students involved in critical thinking. Ask them to ponder three questions. Which better explains federal subsidies to sorghum farming? Evolution or idiot design? Which better explains hydroplane racing? Evolution or idiot design? Which better explains official state songs, official state flowers, official state desserts? Evolution or idiot design? Then let the students decide for themselves.